Okay, this is gonna be a short one. I'm gonna show you how to optimize your media so that if you have 4K files, they'll play smoothly on your computer even if you have a not so powerful computer. And this is for DaVinci Resolve. First thing you wanna do is uh, tell your DaVinci Resolve what kind of proxy format, what kind of small file format you wanna use. So if you, on the bottom right corner, there's that gear icon, you click on that. Up on your main master settings, go down to optimize media. And where it says format, um, you want to pick something like a proxy version. Um, I'm using ProRes, I'm on a Mac. If you're on a PC, you probably want to use some flavor of DNX, uh, DNX HD. Um, you may have to look up exactly what's the smaller file format that, that still looks okay on your system, but doesn't require a lot of resources to play. So in my case, that's ProRes 422 proxy. I'm going to go with that. And it doesn't matter that this is uh, a lower quality version that we're working with because when we render out at the end, it'll actually render from the original source file. So you're gonna get that super high quality that you, uh, that you captured from your camera only with your color grades applied uh, or your edits, depending on what you're doing in DaVinci Resolve. So I'm gonna save that. Now, that didn't do anything but tell the system that when I do something, when I generate optimized media, that that's the format I'm gonna render it out in. So let's, on the bottom here, we'll click on media. Uh, we'll grab some media, so you'll search for your footage that you wanna work with. Uh, mine is right here. I'm gonna select all of this and drag it down into my media pool. And then we click on the edit tab. I gotta create a timeline. Timelines, new timeline. Empty one is fine, but I am gonna select all of these files anyway, and I'll drag them into the timeline. Okay, so if we do a playback, so there's a little bit of stuttering there. My computer doesn't, it's not too bad for uh, handling these files, but um, I've had issues before with other files, and depending on the bit rate that you recorded at, you may have issues on yours. So let's go back to the media tab, and this is where we're gonna generate the optimized media. Now that we went into the, the uh, project settings here and the system knows what kind of files to create, we're gonna tell it to create those files now. So let's select all of our footage files and right click, and then we're gonna choose generate optimized media. Now, depending on how much footage you have, this may take some time. Um, on a lot of projects after a day of shooting, if I'm gonna do this, I'll have to leave it for a few hours and come back. Anyway, we'll speed this video up here. Okay, so that finished. Now there's another step. Actually, we wanna make sure that under playback that it has the use optimized media if available. Chances are you probably saw this menu item before and didn't understand why you weren't able to get the optimized media, which was our first step there. So now you know that. Um, there are other options as well, this proxy mode, you could uh, run in half or quarter resolution, but without doing, you can do that if you're still having issues, but uh, I leave this off. Render cache, I set to users. Normally by default, it's set to none. Um, I come and I click user. Now what that is, it's just more for after you do your color grade. Um, your optimized media, as long as this playback, it says, says use optimized media if available. What that's doing is kind of, it's at the source. With your original files, they are being baked in in a proxy file that's much easier for your system to handle. But after you start applying a bunch of color grades, uh, especially things like noise reduction, it really slows down your system. Um, so you may find that the files are starting to choke again. And the way around that is to, after you finish your color grade, you can bake that in so that when you go back to edits or you're gonna do your audio portion of your edit that your playback will be smooth. And that has to do with this render cache user part here. But how you make it happen is let's say I've done some color grades here. Um, just do something real quick. Um, okay, so and I'm just gonna copy this to the other clips. So now I wanna bake these in. So I'm gonna select all of these clips, 
and I'll right click and say render cache clip output because again our source files that's in the input if they were they were already baked and to a smaller file with the optimized media but now we've done some other things to the file and now it's slowing down again so we want after that happens on the output so we'll click on that and the first thing that'll happen is you'll see a red line appear so this is telling us what needs to be rendered and this blue line is our progress bar showing us that it's it's getting rendered. So when that's completely blue right across there, we know that everything's rendered. What's kind of cool about this too, is if you go back into your color tab and you manipulate your colors more. So when you come back, you'll notice that that clip has a red uh, section in it that needs to be rendered again. And then you have to wait for the blue progress bar to uh, complete before it'll run smoothly again, but you can still play it back. It just may be a little bit choppy like this one is right now. It'll go to the blue section, should be pretty smooth. Anyway, that's it. I hope this was helpful. Um, be sure to subscribe and thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next one.